Okay guys, so to continue on with this lab here, now we're going to put in the different filters and see what stopping voltages uh, are required to make the current uh, stop flowing. And we said uh, from our theory here, the higher the, the frequency of the filter, the higher the stopping voltage should be. So we're going to first start with our red filter. You see this is red. Red filter here. So we use our red filter and we're going to put it into the system here. Okay. Now, first thing we, we want to do is zero this out so that uh, we have our light source, first of all. Now, when, with no light source going on here, with no light source above, and uh, we want this to read zero volt, zero current. So we have zero reading here. And again, this is going to control our back voltage, this part right here. It would be our back voltage. So, we have now no current flowing, we zero it out. And there's no back uh, voltage at this point. So we're gonna now turn on our light source. <clears throat> and now we have current that's flowing. And now we're gonna put our, our back voltage to stop the current from flowing. As we increase the frequency, uh, the stopping voltage will be a higher value. So this is with the red filter, and we see that the stopping voltage, I've already put on the stopping voltage, the bike voltage is 0.443. Again, what I've done, I, 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 I put on the back voltage to stop the current from flowing. You see there's no current flowing, and the value for the stopping voltage is 0.450 now volts. So we're gonna put in, so we got, in this case, we use 0. 0.450 volts. Now, this is for the red light, the red, the red filter. So, the red filter uh, has a voltage value of 0. 0.450 volts. <clears throat> now, what we're going to do, we're going to take out the red, and we're going to put in the green filter. So, again, this is the red filter. Let me show you that this is the red filter. Okay. Now, we're going to take out the red. Now, we're going to put in our green filter. So this is the, the green filter now. All right. And we're going to see what's needed now to stop this current from flowing. Okay, so now we want to stop this from flowing. And we get a value here. For our green filter, about it's 0 0.632. 0 0.632 volts. Okay, so we're gonna write that in for our green filter. 0.632. All right, so well, that's the stopping voltage for our green filter. <clears throat> and now we're gonna put in our blue filter. So we're gonna take this out. Again, let you know that this is the green filter again. It's green. And now we're gonna put in the blue filter. Blue filter. All right. And we're going to see what stopping voltage is needed for the blue filter. So we're keeping it the same. So now we have blue filter. Now we're getting value, you see here, of 0.928 volts. 0 0.928 volts. So for our blue, we got a value of 0 0.928 volts. All right. So you see then, as we have said before, that the higher the frequency, the higher the stop voltage value. So with the red, the stop voltage was 0 0.450 volts. With the green, the stop voltage was 0 0.632 volts. And now for the blue, the stop voltage is 0 0.4. 928 volts. So again, verify our equation right here. They can say the higher the frequency, the higher the stopping voltage. And therefore, you, you can plot this equation here on graph, graph paper and solve this equation and get Planck's constant. And that's the, what you would be doing in this lab here. You'd be using the values I give you 
uh, plotting that uh, graph and taking the slope of that graph, and you, you will get, you'll be getting value for this uh, Planck's constant.